So hi and welcome back to my Not So Berry Legacy Challenge series. Hey, welcome back. Hope you all are oh. feeling excited for another crazy, oh. <laughs> crazy episode. Another day in our life, it. starting off with a bit of a fall, but still feeling confident. You know what? I admire that. She's a person who can fall in public, get up and just be like, okay, like that was kind of cool though. That wasn't embarrassing. That was kind of cool which I wish, but in the last episode, we obviously got introduced to our Minta. You guys got to know her. We obviously went through the rules, so if you haven't checked it out, if you haven't seen the first episode, then go ahead and do that. Make sure you do it so that you're all caught up, and it was a whole bunch of fun. We obviously did not go to our first day of work, which we're going to be doing in a little bit. I have some plans before that, though, and I'm really excited. We did actually meet up with this Carmelo dude. He's a scientist. He walked right past our house, and we were like, hey, this is awesome. I can see you're a scientist I can see you're a scientist I am actually going to become a scientist as well and he was like you a scientist I'm sorry it's okay you did I hear that right I don't think you don't look like a scientist you don't sound like you're you know smart enough to become a scientist you don't sound like you're a person who's planned very well because we went through that Araminta doesn't really plan things she takes them as they come but she's smart and she's really into science and she's kind of like she gets ideas day to day they may change she, she may come up with some crazy ideas she may do things that she don't really think what it'll mean in the future because she's like YOLO but then we joined the career right in front of his face and then he tried to get friendly with us and he was like you know what we can be friends you know as long as you just quit that career right now i'm sorry we can be perfect friends but you're not a scientist and we were like i mean this whole story kind of happened naturally i mean of course we had to i had to kind of come up with a few things but this is kind of what i imagined happened and she was like nah nah what are you talking about and we kind of fought him which that's where she might have gone a little bit she's like checking at her butt like did it leave a, a scratch in my pants when i fell and she's like nah you know i look good i look real good even after the fall she is just getting so ready for her first day as a scientist and then loario called us and was like okay you're a criminal girl you are a criminal. You might not know it, but I can tell that you are a criminal. Maybe he saw us get into a fight and we kind of met up with him at the cafe and we're like, hey, why would I be a criminal? You don't even know me, man. So we now despise those two, Lario and Carmelo. We met up with Leslie. She was super sweet. We kind of have a bit of a con contrast between Araminta's and Leslie's personality, which I think makes them good friends. And then we met up with Jess, who's a military girl, and we were like, okay, this could be cool. Leslie, she really enjoyed her sense of humor. She seemed amazing. We really got close. So we did. We were actually able to complete the first part of our aspiration. And in fact, this morning, I had Araminta do a little bit of reading. So she did actually get two breakthroughs. So she completed that for her work, and she got a little bit of logic. So we have to master and complete the mischief and logic skills. We have to get to level 10 er in our scientist career. We have to complete our chief of mischief aspiration and complete the elements collection. Now the elements collection we are going to be doing at work because that's where we can dig and stuff. It's not really much of that in at Strangeville, but there's a lot of other amazing things so that we can most definitely do. So we're just going to be obviously working on that today, but I have other plans as well. And that's why I'm kind of pausing a little bit right now. Look at her cute loft. It's looking real cute. I'm pausing because we have to go to work in two and a half hours. So I wanted to head on out because I think Aramint is a big animal lover. Obviously, she's a vegetarian, but also I think she might want to get a pet. And there is a cat cafe that just opened up over in, is it Brindleton Bay? I think I put it in there. And I was thinking maybe she'd want to go there for a bit of a morning coffee because she's the kind of girl who wants to go out and meet people and she really enjoys it and I think she would get kind of bored of being in the house all the time and she might even bring Leslie and Jess and we can get closer with them and I was thinking she could probably prank them a bit and be a bit mischievous to get her mischief skill up because I have actually been thinking so I feel like I was talking about her sense of humor being hard to understand a bit weird and her way of talking to people she might seem a bit weird and out of her mind and then Katie came with a comment saying that her way of being funny and her way of talking and communicating may include a bit of mischief and I was really happy because that kind of goes hand in hand with my story so here's the adorable little cat cafe but that kind of goes hand in hand with my story as well so that like she her way of being funny is by being a bit mischievous and obviously Leslie did really enjoy it and she, if you get close to her you'll understand that that's just what she's trying to do she's really kind actually but 
sometimes you might go too far. Obviously, she don't want to hurt someone or someone's feeling feelings, so she might go a bit too far and have to try and cool it down. No, we are now I'm here. Obviously, we did go me. ahead and give. Oh my god, how cute she's pregnant! We did go ahead and give Sam, Leslie a makeover, Sam, so we might do that to Jess. I mean, she's looking great, but obviously, it doesn't really fit our Sam style. So we are here at we barely have any time so i'm trying to like save a bit of time so we can just even if we don't have time to get a coffee we can just catch up with friends you know so i did change plans i'm not going to the cat cafe because we don't really have any time we are in villa creek on a eco cafe it's actually very nice you know maybe we could just come back here and sit down all of us and just have a nice chat so look at that oh my thing. gosh she wants to buy a, a scratching post from being materialistic but that is a sign you guys she wants to get a little cat but while they're going and getting situated i might tell you guys that thank you for the support on this series already you guys i went into youtube this morning i got up out of bed when why am i literally explaining everything i did i got up and i went into youtube and i just saw comments like you're so creative this is amazing and like ideas and just like you guys oh there's a little roller skating rink you guys don't know how happy that makes me like that just means so much while they're here let me go ahead and have them let me go ahead and have her be herself and start a rumor and just see if leslie takes it nicely and if so we'll obviously continue with being uh, our funny selves impersonate mermaids cute there's a little fire here this place is actually gorgeous okay so work starts in one hour and you know we could probably come here and dig a few things actually would be a quite good thing to do so we get that started i'm just really enjoying working on with mischief right now it does not take long through social interactions it does not take long to level that up however maybe it would be great oh look at that look how freaking perfect i don't think we'll have time maybe another day we can come here get a bit of a drink do some roller skating this is a nice place she's playful so i think definitely our way of joking gets her into a nice mood so we're all good i'm happy she's not like you're horrible but that's really cool we know you know obviously katarina here is a real cat person so it'll be a bit funny to her and say hi to her oh someone's bike oh, this is just really really cute okay and i will probably go ahead and put in a new lab for her i want to play this first day on camera and then kind of edit away the parts that are boring and just include fun parts and probably not include a lot of like actually working because i want to kind of have some things go on with her work colleagues and whatnot and then obviously this is her first time going to work so i want to include a little bit but sometimes i might just do it off camera and you know you know what i'm saying and then sometimes you know i'm just trying to make it fun still and all of that and i feel like it, it'll be easier for us to kind of bond yeah, with uh, her work colors if we get to know them a bit better i might give them all like a, a slight makeover and then i don't really know if jess is still here she's really cool though she was like you know we don't know her that well so it's not like I'm, oh, she's actually here. She's just going to grab a bit of a coffee. <laughs> she's just a cat person, like in my opinion, this is showing. So it is time for her, it's time for Araminta's first day of work. Trusty notepad in hands. It's time for Araminta to go uh, work at the lab. Maybe today is the day for a major breakthrough. And we will definitely join her for the first day. And I'm actually so excited. Okay, today we're going to be experimenting a bit. Tell you what, right away I'm gonna fix- Okay, she oh. keeps falling, but it's not- We know already that that doesn't put her in a bad mood. She is not the kind of person to get embarrassed about accidents. Like, obviously, it's been proven. So, I'm gonna make everything- I'm gonna put in a new lab and- Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I am done with the lab all up renovated. I didn't do it. I put one down from the gallery and then I've also given all of our lab co-workers makeup. Just put like a skin on them and changed, you know, their their eyes to be more realistic and their hair, of course, to be alpha and but kept their vibe that they already had going on. So I'm gonna get you all introduced to them and then you'll get to see the lab and all that. So let's start right here from the left. We have Dayton Lake, who is a young adult, and this is what he looks like real sweet then we have actually Knox greenberg here uh who's obviously quite iconic from the eco eco lifestyle pack so we have him and then we have we have this girl right here her name is genesis amaya and this is what she looks like i saw in create a sim she was like i think she was mean and then she hated children and something like that i don't know if that's gonna like clash with us i mean we'll just see 
I kind of want to, I can't wait to see if there's going to be any drama going on. We might connect with someone. We might not connect with someone else and all of that. We have Noah Hill right here. That's him. This elderly lady here who is Jalissa, which is such a beautiful name, Jalissa Manuel. And this is what she looks like. She looks like so nice and I feel like she can share a lot of knowledge with us. I have no idea though. And then this lab was created by Mathilda or Matilda Koo on the gallery. It was one of the most, not like the most popular one, but I found it on there. And look how, look how beautiful it is. I can tell they put so much work and effort into it. It has so many like little details and just so well put together. So it's looking great. I'm not gonna like go through it all, but I'll just show you guys a bit of a overview. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. And then second floor is my favorite floor look at that it looks kind of tropical in a way and we are hungry so i feel like the first thing we'll do is probably get to know our coworkers, because maybe grab something to eat up here and you know see how it all goes maybe we shall go ahead and actually have something to eat really quick so we can have like be all energized before starting so we have some applesauce we're obviously vegetarian and all of that and then we have a third floor looking like this everyone's running inside because we just pushed them out but yeah, so I might be doing some, look at his walk style, <laughs> Dateson's walk style. I might be doing some editing just to not make it boring, but I will include fun things that happen and see all of that. I, I just wanted to get something in her belly before talking to people and getting to know everyone. She's looking so confident. I was thinking I was going to change up her lab coat, but then I kind of wanted to match with her co-workers because it'd be kind of weird if she did not so this little conversation going on here between Knox and Dayton and Dayton's actually coming upstairs I think so we can go ahead and get ourselves introduced to him okay they went into the bathroom to actually talk wait this girl Robin she wasn't here before I don't know if she's new or whatnot she was not part of the other people but we might give her a makeover if she is someone who's gonna stay but you know, now we said hi to Dayton, but I feel like she wants her first day of work to be pretty productive. So let's go ahead and get started on other things. Okay, so we're gonna practice doing some analyzing. I feel like this is such like, you know, a basic thing to start out doing. I I don't know much about science, but you know, a few things I do know from all my hundreds, thousands of science classes and all of that. So we're gonna do that. And now we're moving along and we're actually going to be synthesizing a serum we're all alone in this room i bet she's just feeling so confident and like like kind of relaxed i feel like she is quite relaxed while doing science i had to buy her some seeds and then get her some plants so you know what's everyone else up to i want to see if anyone's like you know chatting if there's any drama happening i don't know so uh, this girl she seems real sweet i want to get to know her but obviously i want to make sure that we do get a nice day all right so we just said hello to genesis who is our co-worker she is a bit sad but we do have to give away our, ser our serum and i figured we would do that maybe i don't really know i don't know what the serum's gonna do i don't know maybe Aramint is a bit hard at reading emotions and don't really get that she's quite sad and maybe not in the mood for a serum but we will see if she wants to have it i wonder why she's sad though i have no idea i'd like to figure out i like i'm so like interested in my co-workers i don't even know them at all but i would love to if we have some time left over after we finish all of our tasks to go ahead and dig because obviously there are many diggables on this lot and i think that it would be great because the element collection I kind of am interested in starting working on it in real life. I would not be so. I mean, it would be really cool if I could go outside and, you know, find a, find a rock and dig up crystals. It would be really cool. Okay, it's epic. We're now gonna actually go ahead and invent the momentum conserver, which I'm really excited for. Okay, so it looks like Jess is really interested in being a friend. She's feeling a bit stiff today. We are actually at work and quite like in our mood right now. Like we don't really want to be distracted. So sorry Jess, but this is our first work day. We will definitely go out with her after work, I guess, if she wants to. But yeah, looks like Dayo, well, yeah, Dayton is the receptionist. We've gotten to know quite some people. I mean, even though she's at work, she's kind of, you know, working real hard. She is a real people person and she does really want to get to know people. I think she's really interested in, you know, people and kind of, I don't know, kind of trying to like having maybe a bit of a hard time to read people. Okay, there we go. We have two hours left of the workday. We have done everything. There's a pool here. 
that is actually really nice. We can go ahead and, you know, relax in the pool. But for now, I want to do a little bit of digging. Uh, I haven't really played around with that too, too much. But just getting to do it is real cool. After all that, I do want to get to know the people that we work with. Noah just farted, okay? And then we have Jalissa, who, uh, of course, I do want to know as well. And there is quite a heat wave going on today. We have an hour left but we've already finished up on everything that is necessary for today's work day. I'd like to put our momentum conserver in our inventory. Okay, so work day is almost finished. Noah is, what? What happened to you? Actually though, what happened to him? I've never seen this. Let me process this. He is, don't know. I don't know what is uh, actually up with him. Uh -uh. Discuss work with it. Okay, so she was like, uh uh. She doesn't really seem to enjoy what Jalisa just said. I was thinking she would be real sweet and kind of teach us a bunch of stuff, but they just kind of lost a bit of friendship right there. However, Noah, we're kind of getting along with a bit. So, okay, end of show. <gasps> we got promoted, actually, on our first day. Okay, so they did really appreciate how we did. I think, obviously, they kind of, I think, honestly, they kind of appreciate our way of working and not really, like, having too many plans, but still being able to perform really well. And, I mean, while we're up there, like, brainstorming, we get a bunch of ideas in that very moment, and we kind of work for the moment and, you know, kind of live day by day and i feel like that has actually gotten as far so we've got some new clothes we've got a journey to the stars and obviously a little bit of money maybe we should go ahead and go over to brindleton bay now and check out the cat cafe see if any strays show up and also because jess did text us and was kind of asking to she wanted to do something with, with us today obviously we did get to know genesis still not sure why she was so sad Noah we talked to a little bit, definitely Dayton was like the first person we talked to, we're a bit tired so it'll be a short little trip, but before that I think it is important that we get out of these clothes and also send everything emerald, okay this looks beautiful because it's quite mint, I do want to keep it if we end up maybe getting multiples so if we get another emerald I'll keep it, but for now I am definitely going to be sending it into the Geo Council and this is happening again, she's like is it real happening again? I'm literally gonna, she's, I'm afraid she's gonna hurt herself, but she seems to be all good. She is clearly not embarrassed. And send in this momentum conserver. Wow, that is great. So I feel like tonight we might do a little bit of logic reading. We might do all that, but we did promise Jess to go ahead and head on out. Is that Leslie? It might be. She might be coming to visit us, which is actually so sweet. I mean, Leslie just loves us. Maybe she's been around a bunch of boring people her whole life, and she's really happy that finally she's kind of getting to talk with someone who's a bit different. Okay, so the weather is kind of... It's actually raining a whole lot. There, I saw a little kitten standing here, Bartholomew A. Biddlebun Jr. Okay, <laughs> right outside in the rain, so I feel like it definitely... Jess ran inside, but I is going to be like, there's a kitten here, I have to save him. It is actually very, very, very adorable. And not sure if this baby's a stray, because it doesn't say that this kitten's a stray. <gasps> Look at the different eye colors. And then obviously we did invite Jess here. She seems to have some work to do. She brought, brought a computer and is now you know, working on something, so, but yeah, definitely come here and talk to her, and I guess if she's busy, if she, you know, we can work in a bit of mischief, if she's busy, we'll just bring out our logic book and work on that for a little bit, and then, but we'll go ahead and have a bit of a chat with her, and a bit of, you know, show a bit of her mischief, like, I feel like she doesn't really know where, when to stop, so obviously Jess is sitting here with a bunch of work looking stressed, and we're coming here with the mischief, which definitely is something Araminta would do. Oh my god. Yes, I'm seeing cats, definitely. We have this little bit. Oh my. Babies. We have some babies right here. Okay, okay, okay. Stop with this. Being mischievous is some random dude. Stop with that. Oh, look at these babies. Oh my god, oh my god. Friendly introduction. Jess is like, why'd you bring me here? I hate cats. No, she loves cats, actually. I can see now. She seems to actually really like cats. Okay, mischief level three. So she completed that she now needs to use a computer to cause mischief which actually we do have some money from work okay okay let me see 
Joey is actually not that nice, a bit scared. If I'm being honest, I kind of like that because if you're a stray, you may not be used to Sims. So I kind of like the story of a cat being very scared, maybe been in, you know, a past, not past life, but with some sims who were not too nice to them and then we kind of take care of them and make them feel more comfortable because honestly joey is adorable okay i think i'm just gonna go with the fact that the cats are not very nice towards us because they don't really know how to act so this baby right here gorbash 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 is real 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 sweet towards us and also really really cute we are actually quite tired right now i don't know if jess is still here it is getting quite late. We've met some kittens, some little cats. I'm actually in love with them all. No cats around here, but okay, this world is beautiful. I feel like she's gonna go back home, get a scratching post, because honestly, she is kind of set in on getting a little kitten right now. Today is looking beautiful. It's a bit, it's like partly cloudy, but it's looking quite sunny. So it is in fact time to wake up really soon. I'm trying to get her to get a bit of, okay. She is peeing right now in her bed not really but almost so we're gonna have her we're gonna have our mint i get down and go pee really quickly there is a gross bowl right here so let's go ahead and put that in the sink and okay it's bright come on you can do this get down there without peeing yourself go ahead come on you can do this our minta. we do need to have a few more breakthroughs for work of course so I'm not feeling too precious about that because we're doing well with the whole work and I'm just enjoying her working her way up there and but obviously it's still a challenge so we do need to get things going. I'm thinking maybe we start out the day by taking a very thoughtful shower. Maybe that's how we start the days here in Araminta's life and then maybe we have her cook something for once so I don't feel like she enjoys cooking at all but I feel like it would be gr great to know eventually she will obviously have kids because we have to carry on the legacy so yeah. I never make some fruit salad just because I feel like that's a great start to the day and it's very very simple so we'll go ahead and have her get some of that going and then maybe get some weeding in. I want to get like a chest table eventually but I kind of like it being like she don't have that much money right now so she's spending it on books and then eventually she'll spend it on a chest table and all of that and then she does need to cause mischief on a computer but I also kind of like the idea of her not having enough money so she has to sort of go out so that maybe she will have to go to like libraries or whatnot and find computers to do that but obviously i do want to work on her aspiration and we are also waiting for the elements of course to arrive nothing yet do we have bills no okay and maybe we can go for a relax and relax and swim she did not get a breakthrough right no but maybe she will get one by cooking no i mean ah. reading and oh she only now required the cooking so you can tell she's been not wanting to cook and in fact jess invited us out to a party last night i love it, it's just a bunch of cats but she invited us out to a party i still need to give her a makeover so i will definitely go ahead and do that i don't know but she really wanted to go to a party with us but we were exhausted and obviously we are trying to focus on work a little bit for now but i mean yesterday was very eventful still we did have time to do a lot of fun things and it was not just all it was really fun at work and i still can't wait to today get to know our coworkers a bit more i will probably play most of the day off camera and include like when we talk with coworkers because i hope you guys are happy with that because to be honest it's kind of i think it could get a bit repetitive obviously if we kind of invent something really awesome i will i will get to include that of course so i want her to eat and i would love her to take a swim i feel like however she is i mean she's not she is quite smart and i feel like she'd be like you know what it might be good for me to work in a bit of logic and get that going so i can work on breakthroughs my skill and also get a bit you know get really focused for a work and you know i wish i was that organized and just put together she's not organized i don't see her being organized but i see her being like in this moment like that would be a good idea i heard you got a promotion congrats i think breakfast at bojan restaurant okay I, can, I have work in a little bit but we'll definitely send her a text and be like you know maybe after work we'll go to that restaurant you were talking about bojan restaurant whatever see if i remember that name and you know We'll do that. So we'll give her, we'll go ahead and give her a text. We got a breakthrough yeah. from walking. Okay, so interesting. From walking and holding a book in her hand. So I wonder if we can get another breakthrough during this time we have. I don't really know. I'm still so like, I really feel like she would want to get a little cat. 
a kin would be nice, but I don't think you actually get the option to ha to see stray kittens. I have never experienced that at least. And I don't want to make her a cat, and I probably wouldn't want a mint cat, because I like realism. And I'll probably give, you know, the cat a bit of, um, I mean, something less mint, but at the same time, I don't like to give my pets, like, clothes. But maybe just a little color or something that is mint. Or, because I'm not, like, gonna paint my cat mint. I don't know, I'd feel kind of bad. But we'll definitely, maybe the eyes, something like that, that could just indicate that they're a bit mint, just to make it a bit more fun and, uh, organized. I don't know. But getting some reading in before work, you know, thinking about the day, kind of just being like, okay, we'll just see where this work day takes me. Let's just say I paused in a very, uh, kind of, you know, epic moment right here. Okay, that keeps happening to her. Maybe she's a bit clumsy, you know? But she just gets up. She's like, I'm fine. You know, my, my butt's getting real strong after all this falling. I don't know. But, you know, she's a bit, a bit of a weird mindset. But that's better than being embarrassed about it. She's like, I'm getting real strong after all this falling and getting back up. Um, but yeah, everyone's just working, working today. And, you know, like I said, a bit of skipping today. But just, you know, hopefully something interesting could happen today with the people that we work with. And you know what? Play playful text? Maybe not. I want to send him a text and not to be kind. I kind of would like for it to be a text like, okay, I had my first day of work yesterday. I got promotion. You know, you know, so maybe I'm not that bad of a scientist. I don't think she's going to say that. He's going to obviously figure that out because Carmelo is going to realize he's been all, all wrong and uh, he is going to regret what he did. Ooh. We actually have so many things to dig. Look at all of these. I mean, I feel like we could complete the elements collection in no time. Stream with a drone. No, no, I don't think we can do that. I mean, we do actually have a bit of a, we have some computers here. So if we have time over, we could always cause some mischief and use that as our opportunity to do that. We need a metal and a crystal. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a metal to be able to invent the sim ray, which will be really cool. And we had our fourth breakthrough. This is going well. She is such a great scientist. I'm just putting it out there. No. Wait, what is she doing? Why is she yelling? Did she just yell at us? I have no idea what just happened. But Jalissa actually did go ahead and like kind of brushes off yesterday maybe she has the same problem with us as Carmelo uh, and maybe uh, she's no, wh what are they d she's mad uh. we're not mad why are we mad though from both sides losing an argument I think maybe she's old and she's kind of doing things the old style way and she's like you know I don't want young people come in here not having many plans just doing whatever they want it's not working that way clearly not knowing that we are about to be successful so we kind of have a bit of drama happening with her i guess okay Jalissa, can we go ahead and argue about career so be like you know let me do this my way i got promoted yesterday i clearly know what i'm doing and if this is the way i'm living my life and noah's just here <laughs> noah's just sitting here like okay i'm not i'm not listening what do you think? And Nox is joining in. Oh Let's my god. Clearly, this has been a boring lab until Araminta came along. I can see. But she's like, okay, I'm getting back to work right now. Bye. Ooh, we have a few uncommon crystals. And we can't invent the Simray because they need to be common. And ours are uncommon. I think oh, that's quite cool, though. How's she feeling after her argument? She is looking quite sad. She's like, maybe things are changing. How did she just literally wow. win that argument? Like, clearly, we changed our way of thinking. Maybe we go from being, like, enemies to her understanding everything in the end. I don't think we're there yet, but maybe we'll get there. As a last task, I don't know if we'll have time, because she's being so slow. We have to actually freeze a co-worker. I don't know if she'll have time to do this, but Nox is the only one staying in late, because we decided to do it so for today, because we were just in such, like, we had such a flow and just so many ideas. Uh, so he's the only one staying in late. I obviously wanted to go ahead and freeze the old lady. <laughs> but I kind of feel like as a bit of a mischievous person, she would definitely freeze someone. If this doesn't count, it counted and we have done all of our tasks and we end in literally four minutes. But we are going to crop it. I don't know if we'll have time to crack him open. They're like, okay, I mean, I, I guess that kind of was a bit going too far. I'm sorry, I wanted to do it to Jalisa or whatever her name was, but it kind of didn't work out because she left. But, you know, sorry, maybe it's the start of a nice friendship. I don't know, but we 
did a fantastic job and it's time to head on back home. Let's go ahead and have a relaxing swim. The sun is setting. <gasps> this is the first time I'm actually seeing like a proper sunset. Usually it's not like color, like colorful. It's a little bit colorful at least. Usually it's just ugly, like really ugly. And it's not like it's a thing, but now it's actually quite pretty. Stress day, two like perfect work days performance wise, but not so, well, I mean, we have co-workers that we love, that we talk with. Noah is actually like a sweetheart, but kind of, you know, not so much Jelisa because Jelisa kind of is... I mean, she's the first person that's gotten to us. Carmilo didn't even get to us. Maybe she's stressed because she's not really having fun. But I also feel like she's kind of like, okay, second person who's doubted me, thinking that I could ever be successful. And she's not a person to try and have to prove herself for others. But right now, she's just like, dang, you know, they're kind of annoying. But I feel like she's trying to put it all behind her with the swim. So I think on this note, it is time to wrap up this episode. The second episode, let me know what you think. As always, please leave feedback. Let me know what you think about the whole cat idea. If you think that Araminta would be a cat person, just anything, any ideas, literally anything. And thank you so much for the support on the last episode again. It means the world to me. And I'm so happy you guys are enjoying this series. And... But I will see you all soon with the third episode. So take care. Bye.